first thing that God ever showed me was a double helix vortex that turned into a double helix wave. Now, this is your most basic example of uh, all forms of energy travel, which is vortex, double helix vortex to double helix wave. This is what God showed me originally in the beginning. There's no triple helix, there's no quadruple helix, there's no other kind of helix. And I stated in a video the other day, Aussies, that this form of travel can be seen at different levels of reality and size. So just by looking at this, we can see well, this is a double helix vortex and it splits off into two opposing waves and we can see by the rotation field of each that if we folded this left piece over it would be traveling counterclockwise and this one is the opposite and if we fold that over it will be traveling counterclockwise which shows the original helix that all plants put out and are grown with uh, from a double helix vortex to a double helix wave and you can also tell that this is the vortex coming up here with a wave unrolling from it and that's the same way that feathers are constructed if you can see the ridges there now what we see on screen in the middle obviously <clears throat> there is the uh, the seed it has a lump at the bottom and then there is a straight backbone uh, showing all the veins coming off the wave. If we look on the right there we will see that that is how a bird's wing is constructed. Uh, on the seed the lump at the bottom is actually segmented into two. There is a groove in that thick bottom piece of the seed in the bottom right hand. And if we look at the bones there are two bones uh, that are in the arm of a bird and also on the left hand side that is a bat wing and so again this shows um, that all things are constructed by a vortex to a wave and the only reason there are specific detailed differences is due to the code DNA frequency instructions that are in DNA for either a plant or a bird or a bat but they are all grown the seed is made for flight Funny that, eh? It's made to rotate. So, again, there we have it. Plants and animals showing the same structure, the same foundational purpose of energy, which is vortex to wave. Yes, that's basically the same way wings are constructed. And the same reason we don't have, you know, three wings or three legs or anything like that is because, as God showed me in the, my original visions, um, that it was double helix vortex to a double helix rollover halo wave, which can become uh, an Ouroboros ring or an Ouroboros sphere, of which I've spoken about on many of my videos. So thank you very much for this small lesson. of showing for the probably the 500th time um, a double helix in nature and the nature of it is always double helix vortex to double helix wave thanks very much my name is lee i follow the christ and i've never lied to anybody i've never needed to all my evidence you've seen in my hands not on a video not on a silly photograph You've seen all my evidence right next to your own garden. Thanks a lot. Bye.